Chris Barker joins me after the uh, 3-1 defeat away to Wrexham. Sorry about that, Chris. <laughs> but uh, first and foremost, yourself. Uh, been on the sidelines for a little bit again, but welcome back this afternoon. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling OK. I think it was, I, I did the injury nine, ten days ago. Now I haven't, I haven't trained since, but uh, we had 16 players today. So I was, I was happy to come along and, like I say, I had to come on at half-time as well. So uh, it's, it's nice to be back. I know it wasn't as bad as, as last time, but you've just got to be careful. Because uh, if, if I do it again, you're probably talking a month, six weeks, which we don't want. Uh, but I got through today, and hopefully I can recover the next day or two. And then I've got six, six, seven days to uh, to the weekend, see the FA Cup game. And uh, you know, I suppose it's a bit bit of an obvious statement to make, but in the end, today it proved a game too far for for, for, for the lads who've really shown tremendous. Everything really, character, courage, mental strength, you know, physicality in the last few weeks, but. Uh, a big turnaround as this game went on from us starting well and then Wrexham yeah, finished. Yeah, I, th I think we started really well. I was obviously watching on the bench in the first 30, 40 minutes when Dan goes and puts one in the, in the bottom corner. Great goal, fantastic goal. And you think, can we go and push on? Uh, but unfortunately, we obviously Dan had an injury at half times while he had to come on. Uh, and he just sort of took the game, really took us. Uh, and I think we got stronger as the game went on as well and we sort of got weaker. Uh, but we, we can't get down too much. We've, we've come a long way in sort of a, a month period, I think, including the FA Cup games as well. But like I say, this is the this is the main sort of thing in the league. We have to push on in the league. The FA Cup's a bit of a bonus. Uh, but unfortunately, we haven't won today. We had a great result on Tuesday night. Uh, it's been a long week, a lot of, a lot of miles. Uh, but we, we've got an eight-day break now until the next game, and hopefully we, can, uh, hopefully we can get a good result next Sunday and hopefully get into the next round. You mentioned uh, the knock to Dam Holman. It was a bit of a surprise to us. We did see he took a heavy challenge on half time. Have you any idea what the issue is? Uh, he's just literally walked back in, in crutches in, in the change room, so I'm not really sure what's happened, to be honest. But Glenn went down in the first 20 as well. Joe's obviously had stitches as well. So it's been one of them sort of battling games. So we can rebuild, we can restart again on probably Monday, Tuesday, and hopefully we'll get more injuries back as well. The other ones who are obviously not here today as well. Just taking it back in terms of the key moments for, for, for this game, obviously we got a cracking start with that great goal and, and I think until we scored we were the better side. Mm. It seemed to turn pretty soon after that. What, was it losing momentum with the knocks to, to, to Joe and to Glenn or do we just need to give Wrexham some credit? Sometimes you've got to give the other team credit. I think they did well in the second half, especially the second half. Uh, we started really well for the first 20 to 30 minutes, but give them credit. They're, they're a good team. They're OK. It's, it's a big club, and I'm sure they're going to push on for, for probably at least the playoffs. Uh, but sometimes we play a lot of games in certain days, and, and we haven't got a bigger squad at the moment. Obviously, we've got a lot of injuries, so hopefully they come back next week. But sometimes you've got to give the other team a credit. And like I say, we got away with one or two probably other chances they obviously created as well but we've got to dig in one one bad result is not end of the world uh, but we we start again and and, and tick along and hope we can do we can do a, another month what we've just done it'd be fantastic and uh, we normally say at this point that we've got a full week without a midweek game to prepare for Rochester we've actually got an extra day as well because it's a Sunday game yeah. so uh, I'm not sure how many will be at training though would it be five aside <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll have to obviously go back on the bus now, five hours yeah. back on the bus now, so uh, we'll see who's, who's fit Monday morning and who, who trains, like I say, but I think we've got eight injuries already as well, uh, so hopefully one or two of them might come back for the weekend as well, but that, that's part of football, we've got to dig in, we've got to start again, uh, and like I say, we rebuild again on Monday, Tuesday, and we dig in for next Sunday. Uh, we know they're going to be probably another level above Portsmouth, because they're a league above, they're in the League One playoffs, uh, but we're under dogs, but hopefully we can, hopefully we can win a game. Excellent. Well, look, on behalf of those of us in and around and the fans that come, you know, that, that they've come again today, yeah. you know, just, you know, on behalf of all of us, well done to the lads on the effort and, and, and the commitment and the achievements of the last few weeks. And uh, now's the time to appreciate that and, and, yeah. and knuckle down. Can I say it. as well, the fans are fantastic, being fantastic for, for me for 18 months, the club and everything. They've come a long way. They've come on Tuesday to, uh, to Southport. I don't know how many miles it is, including today as well. But I know it's a costly thing as well. But all the boys, all the board and everything, the managers and staff, we appreciate what the fans do. And obviously Christmas coming up as well. I always appreciate them coming up all the way up here to, to support us. Well, have a safe journey home, a good week's preparation, and uh, we'll see you again for the FA Cup. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, Thanks. Man.